separates me as an artist um shit i'm me there's only one of me um and you know i just bring my own experience and my own life uh, and my own perspective on the world to into my music either owning my own publishing music publishing company um work putting out music still um really just building up like west coast music and west coast artists to be the best that we can be i mean shit the west is the best anyway but you know just to continue to push that legacy that you know has been built prior to me by introducing different perspectives like we as people we all share common threads right and um but still at the same time we aren't monolithic so like we all have different ways we can connect each with each other but things that also separate us and and make us unique by changing the world i mean really just by bringing all that all these different stories and experiences together and the, the ones that i have and uh bring able to spark conversation on important things that are that are happening in the world whether it be like issues in the black community to um you know shit in politics that affect us all like these are things that us as artists we have to speak on and as our honestly i feel is our duty if you're not talking about you know real shit then like what are you even doing i gave it to myself um Malik, it means king in Arabic, and I'm a king. Not saying that anyone is my particular subject, but I'm a king in my, of my own domain. Um, and, you know, I have a voice, and I'm going to speak, and, you know, I want to lead people um, to the best of my ability, to be the best of their ability. Uh, depends on the people that are in it, I feel like. Um, just as with anything, any group, right? Um, if people are bringing positive vibes and are just like real comfortable, you're gonna feel that and it's gonna make it a lot easier to, f to flow whether you're, you know, doing something written or something off the top. Like, if everyone is like able to build off of each other, like, it's gonna be beautiful. And um, I think it's always a dope experience. My goal in music, uh, honestly, like, of course I want to make money. Of course I want this to be my, my career. Um, but ultimately, really, it's just self-expression. Um, I really got started in it more, like, seriously and intensely because um, after graduating from college, I just felt, and I was, like, working full-time and stuff, at, like, corporate America, I just felt like my creativity was dying, and I felt like I wasn't doing anything with my life. And um, I needed a way to express myself and I, you know, turned to music. And I think that uh, being able to give back to the culture that has given me so much and at least to be an active participant in that is just, is dope to me. Yeah, please. Um, so you can go to YouTube, just search Malik Mercier, M-A-L-I-K, last name M-E-R. C-I-E-R, I just put out, not too long ago, a spoken word uh, video um, filmed in uh, Lamert Park. It's really dope. Um, and I'm working on an EP right now that should be released relatively soon, just in the final, final stages. Um, but yeah, yeah, check me out. Check me out. Top five. Ooh, shit. That's tough. It depends. Um, fuck. In no particular order. No particular order, and it's my personal. Um, Pac, MF Doom, um, shit, Andre. I might have to put you in there, yeah. Let me throw in Snoop, and let me throw in. I'll throw in Biggie, yeah. Yeah, on, wait, Andre, see, and that's the part because you always think of somebody else and yeah. you're like, fuck, they're dope too. <laughs> Three Stacks, Doom, Pac, Biggie, and I'm going to say, and I'll, I'll and, and Jizza. Yeah, okay. <laughs>